The summer and autumn had been so wet that in winter the corn was growing yet. It was a piteous sight to see all around the grain lie rotting on the ground. You know what piteous means? Yes? No, no. What does piteous mean? The word piteous. And a pitiful sight that something that awakens sorrow in you, arouses the feelings of sorrow in you. Right? Every day the starving poor crowded around Bishop Hatto's door, for he had a plentiful last year's store, and all the neighborhood could tell his granaries were furnished well. The poor people obviously were starving. But everyone knew that Bishop Hatto had kept a lot of grain in his granaries. At last, Bishop Hatto appointed a day to quiet the poor without delay. He bade them to his great barn repair and they should have food for the winter there. Rejoiced such tidings good to hear, the poor folk flocked from far and near. The great barn was full as it could hold of women, children, and young and old. Then when he saw it could hold no more, Bishop Hatto, he made fast the door. And while for mercy on Christ they call, he set fire to the barn and burned them all. And they, of course, started crying out for mercy in the name of Christ. And what did it turn out to be because of the kind of man that Bishop Hatto was? It was a painful death that they got in return. Right? So it's a far deeper crime. Do you understand? It's not a crime against a human being. It's a crime against humanity. Do you understand that? Okay. What do you call the voice of the heart? What do you call it? Not ego. Huh? Yes, yes, come on. What? Yes, the heart. What do you call the voice of the heart? What do you call it? No. The voice of the... Conscience. Conscience, yes, that's right. Sit down, all of you. What does conscience do when you've done something wrong, even a small mistake? It whips you, doesn't it? And that's the biggest punishment. The whiplash of your own conscience.